We're back live, and I know we've got people holding that want to ask questions of myself and Gerald Salente, like Gabriel, and of course, uh, Sergeant Bill, who's been holding the longest. Uh, we'll get to you guys, I promise. We'll do a little bit of overdrive, too. Uh, I'm going to have him again interviewed for Obama Deception, too. Now, remember, it's sponsorship that makes this broadcast possible, and the news division we're building, you know, the people's uh, information warfare system using uh, our ammunition, that's the truth, history, common sense, and renaissance and enlightenment that Gerald Salente uh, was just talking about. eFoodsDirect.com forward slash Alex. They have the best storable foods at the very best prices out there. It's what I chose for my family as an emergency backup. Ants store food. The government stores food. They tell you not to store food. Uh, or they say have a week of food. Folks, you can get the very best systems. And they've got a free DVD that breaks down uh, the, the research and six free meals. You can also get, and um, for the next few days, it's over this month, it's over in June, buy three, uh, get one free uh, uh, of any of the storable food kits. Buy three, get one free, and get free shipping. I don't think they've ever offered buy three, get one free, and free shipping. That's a big deal when it comes to storable food, the free shipping. So eFoodsDirect.com forward slash Alex or 800-409-5633, 800-409-5633. And uh, finally, InfidelBodyArmor.com. It's important if everything goes to hell in a handbasket uh, to have high quality body armor. And this is a lot better. And, and Mike Adams, you know, is into this stuff. He says it's the, he, he loves it as well. Uh, this is the metal stuff that stops hundreds of rounds, not six like chromatic or ceramic. Stops hundreds of rounds from AK-47 up to 308. InfidelBodyArmor.com, InfidelBodyArmor.com. they got a huge online catalog, or you can also give them a call and get a physical catalog, 888-608-6605, 888-608-6605, InfidelBodyArmor.com, 888-608-6605. And don't forget InfoWarsStore.com and the very best ProPure water filtration systems with 10% off promo code WATER to cut out the... Uh, bisphenol A and the mercury and the lead and the hydrofluorosilicic acid that they say is so good for you, even though the Harvard study says 20-point IQ reduction within a decade of drinking it, especially in youth, and seven-fold increase in bone cancer. That's just one of the hundreds of things in your loving tap water, so you might want to get a high-quality stainless steel pro-pure water filtration uh, at InfoWarsStore.com with 10% off promo code WATER. Because we're not funded by the government, we're funded by great products we believe in. Now, Gerald, you were getting into the world's waking up. I want to get your current take on how they're trying to drive down gold and silver, what's happening in the global economy, what's mainly on your radar, the open funding of Al-Qaeda in Syria now, how that's out in the open, and then what you think of the NSA and what you think of the, uh, the Rolling Stone um, editors you know, saying, that they've told me, now I've talked to his, his friends, his family, I found the quotes, They've said the army has told me they're going to kill me for this story. I've got a bigger one on the CIA. I'm going to let's talk about that before we get back into this. What's happening? What do you do when we know? Looks clearly they killed Aaron Swartz. He wasn't going to kill himself. He was going to fight those fake charges. This guy, his car blows up. The engine blows 60 yards down the street. Uh, his wife says, I, "I think he was killed. I'm going to, you know, demand a real investigation and and bring down quote whoever did this." I talked to his army buddy. He goes, "Oh yeah, it looks like he was killed." This is on the show a couple days ago. This is nowhere in the news that the widow and his best buddy think he was probably killed and are calling for investigation. They're attacking me, saying I'm a conspiracy theorist and shouldn't question it. What do we do when stuff like that's going on? You have to tune out. I mean, I was watching the news today. I watch it every day because I have to to see what they're talking about. But why don't we talk about Trayvon uh, Martin? How about that uh, Hernandez guy? I mean, we could go on and on and talk about nothing. So they become complicit. They, they, the press is in this country, there is no fourth estate. So the reality is, is that the CIA, the FBI, the NSA have been lying to us forever. Why would anybody believe anything that they say? So, of course, you take it with a grain of salt when they, when, well, how about the whole Boston Marathon? I mean, you, you did a, that, that wonderful info wars where you had it on the cover. Uh, I mean, we, we have no information about that. The, um, the, the, the story kept changing by the minute. They're killing witnesses left and right. Yeah. They, and how, again, how, remember the story that they robbed a 7-Eleven? No, they didn't rob a 7-Eleven. Oh, there was a gunfight between the kid when he was in the boat. And, and, and there was no gunfight. They didn't have, oh, they had all these weapons. No, they didn't have all those weapons. So about the Snowden, to me, there's nothing new that we haven't written about in the Trends Journal over a year and a half ago, two years ago, in chapter and verse. 
And it, we even when we wrote about it, we said that this news was coming out and nobody seems to care about it. We even used that language. So Snowden hasn't said anything new. The only thing that's different with Snowden is he has the hard proof with him. But there's not a thing that he said that hasn't been written about or talked about by myself and others. Uh, what, what's that guy, Bramford or... Uh, the, James Bamford. Yeah, he's... Written but I mean, that. the CIA director Bragg, they were spying on us without warrants, but it's okay when he's saying it's good. Yeah. So, so again, it's a, it's what I've said from the very beginning, when the whole too big to fail began, and people would call Obama communist and a Marxist and all of this, I said, no, it's fascism. It's the merger of state and corporate powers. So the behavior is perfectly acceptable under a fascist regime. This is what to expect. And they're, con they're consciously converting us to that because that's the only system they're going to survive in as tyrants. I mean, that's why it's a no-brainer. So what do we do? We start buying local. We start withdrawing our consent from the system. We don't support any big chains. Uh, what else do we do? Well, again, you know, one of the things I, my motto was in the last election, stay home, don't vote. If we get people, we get under 40% of the people that don't, uh, uh, voting, then we, we could, we, then we could really say that, no, this is not a representative form of government. But have them say we withdraw consent because we say this is, this is not a real process. It's not a real process. What do we got? Do we have the Republicans and the Democrats? You know, you know they've done that before. We could hold alternate elections. Again, boycott this, the, the, this mafia. And yeah, that's another one. So again, it has to begin at the grassroots. Again, and one of the ones that I keep suggesting is pushes for direct democracy. As I mentioned, Hillary said she didn't care what the polls showed. We're going to do more in Afghanistan. You don't see uh, Chelsea over there in uniform. Bill didn't go to war. Obama didn't go to war. None of these guys did. Let the people vote. You want to go to war? Let the people vote. You know, vote. I read about this few years ago and kind of forgot about it, but I went and looked it up last week. They have thousands of troops forced in their contract into a third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh tour with parts of their feet or, uh, one, or their whole foot blown off. They're sticking prosthesis on people and saying, get in there, Marine. Unbelievable. And you know what another disgusting thing is, is how these advertisers are using the military. There's this I Am's dog food ad. I don't know if you saw that one, man. Whew, what a trip. I mean, there's this big dog waiting near the door, waiting near the door or the window, looking out. And all of a sudden, Dawn walks in with a camouflage uniform, back from a tour of duty. And this dog's on top of her. I mean, you really want to talk about sexual exploitation and then i'm watching another one uh zwilla was zwilla no what you're being you're being bigoted against bestiality now yeah right zwilla is that the one with the, with the real estate one yeah yeah there's one there and and the, the the little girl and the mother walk into a house and and it's an empty house that they just bought and they open the door and there's the guy in military combat uniform you know, obviously he just came home. They're using this military thing, the advertising. To sell their agenda. Exactly. And in doing so, they're selling both the pro they're brainwashing the public to continue to accept this lunacy as what have we accomplished in these wars? Oh, the Vietnam War, you guys did a great job. Well, listen, listen, that is pure Pavlovian. Any football game, any basketball game, when they score... Or something big happens, they cut to the military clapping Pavlovianly, like, get a new house, military. Dogs happy, military. Uh, make a touchdown, military. To like Pavlovian, I mean, I guess next time, you know, have been Merrill Monroe bend over or something, and they have the military pop out. You, you got to look at this I'm Zed. I mean, I'm telling you. Man. We got it on screen. There it is. Yeah, she's right. She's, wait till she lays down on the floor and the dog's on top of her. I mean, this is, I mean, I'm not making this up. And watch, watch, watch. There you go. How <laughs> their legs spread. Yeah, look at the dog. I mean, you know, the dog. And you can tell. Dog, uh, you know? <laughs> and, and, and I bet that person in the ad didn't even understand. It's not even subliminal. That's the thing. They got the public so unconscious That's now. That's what I mean. Yeah, I mean, you see they both had the same uniform. Hey, listen. The same exact listen, colors. Listen, Every all these children's shows that are targeting kids and ABC Family the bad guys are the heterosexual men, and the CPS cops, actually the women, they keep the kids, and then they go, oh my gosh, the heteros 
uh, on this show, uh, if it's on my phone, I actually took a photo of it in the movie theater in the ad. It's called The Fosters. Uh, the, the biologicals know the kids are here, and then it shows the cop taking out the dad. And, I mean, the bad guys are dads. And then they have a gay and lesbian thing at the White House with little girls introducing it. And they have articles about, oh, Elmo, uh, you know, the creator of it says it's good. And, oh, Bert and Ernie, they say it's good that they're gay. And it's good for your kids to be gay. I'm not even against, quote, gay people, but I'm against sexualizing children. How is it okay to sexualize kids if it's homosexual versus heterosexual? How is it okay to have the dog with her legs spread on top of her, the Irish wolfhound? I mean, what? why are they obsessed with this? What, and why are they shoving it down our throats? Again, it's sick at every level. I was mentioning that like, they took us to the Vietnam War. We lost 58,000 people, 250 committed, thousand committed suicide. And a bunch of guys I know of, you know, half out of their mind from going there. Then they lost in Afghanistan. We've lost in Iraq. They destroyed Libya. And now they're talking about Syria. It's lunacy at every level. But they make money. Exactly. And so they're actually winning. Is. The globalists are sucking America all, dry that's while they destroy other countries. And that, oh, you were talking about Snowden. This isn't about NSA spying. It's about another aspect of the military industrial complex. It's the cyber industrial complex. According to the Financial Times, we the people are spending $80 billion a year on national security. Where is it going? Hey, you know the guy that's the head of the uh, uh, Booz Allen? A great name for the company too, right? Booz Allen. Mike McConnell. You know where he was before he was CEO of... Uh, yes. Yeah. How many years under uh, Clinton, 1992 to It's all a payoff. Six NSA. He was the head of the NSA. I was reading where some of these companies are getting $10 billion a year to spy on us, and then they're allowed to use the intelligence in their other corporate divisions yep. against competition. Yep. And, and this is the rub. Oh, this guy Snowden, you know, he, he's uh, jeopardized the national security of the United States by spilling these. What secrets? That they're spying on us? But the, here's, the, here's the thing. We're not allowed to know a damn thing about it, but yet they hire 850,000, according to the That's Financial right. Times. 800 plus thousand. Th right? And, but they're allowed to watch us, but we're not allowed to watch anybody or know anything. Listen, every time I, I've been with national film crews in D.C., uh, 200 yards from the monument, and they go up to families filming and say, turn that off the police just to dominate and the security guards. And they come to the camera and go, well, this city doesn't give permits to film, plus we don't need one, to do like mainstream film channels. And the cop goes, turn it off, you're going to jail. And then, I, and, and then families in front of the White House with their iPhones out taping. Secret Service comes over in plain clothes, but also in police outfits, and threatens you. And they're laughing, and I go, wow, this country isn't free. And they go, you're right, now move it. I mean, I mean, and then they have all these movies where the White House is being blown up to create the illusion that it's under attack. And yeah. I mean, it's just, it's just a joke. I live in North Korea. And that's why we need the second American Revolution. I don't know how these feds, because it wasn't just us in film crews, because, you know, we were clean cut and good looking. I couldn't imagine if we weren't. They would go over to families and go, ma'am, don't film the White House. And she'd be across the park like 200. And she'd go, I'm here with my kids. I'm going to make this easy. And, 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 you, and you want to go over and punch the guy in the I know, nose. I, I mean, know. This it, is what's going on. And so it's a loss of liberty at every, every step of the What way. is wrong with... How do they get people to act like this? I, I just... Well, there's a whole profile. Again, you're looking at all the people that are... You know, they did, people probably have empty lives and they're getting fulfilled by... We have footage this. of this in Kansas City. Uh, where my crew is filming the Federal Reserve from 500 yards away at a city park. And Federal Reserve security guards with guns come over and go... We said leave or it's going to get rough. And my guys have been told not to get in confrontations. And we went, but First Amendment, they go, this isn't even your property. And they go, we told you leave or it's going to be hard on you. Yeah. And then yeah. it was in the newspaper. Yeah. That was a total official oppression. <laughs> Alex, they closed down 100 square miles of Boston. Shelter in place made people stay in their homes. Yeah, let's find that and show that. Go ahead. Right? Yeah. 100 to get a 19-year-old kid. That's the other thing I've been thinking about. Look at these, look at these, look at the people that have destabilized the American government. Look at these treacherous people. Bradley Manning. Now there's a real one you have to watch out. This little poor guy. Bradley Manning, this 19-year-old kid that they got in the hospital in the, that, from the Boston Marathon. And this guy Snowden. I mean, look at these 
these the young guys and they make these young guys they're they're a threat to national security i mean that's how sick it's become oh they they bombed Boston. The feds did it. We, we've got all the evidence. But I'm just but, saying, you know, we got behind look, the scenes look stuff. Look at yeah. the kids that they. No, I know they got poor, poor patsies. Yeah, yeah. In fact, it looks like Manning isn't probably the one that actually released much of it. They even know that they're just burning him because he's easy. Yeah, but but again, look at look at the faces. Look at the faces that are a threat to America. Well, if you, I'm sure you saw the videos in Boston where where women would walk out and they would aim guns, and then the women would get in the street, and put their hands down, and the cops would push them and go, "Get your hands back up." It was an excuse to have just an orgy that everyone was a terrorist. Now when they have a flood in a city, in Canada or here, they lock down everything and I go know. rob everybody's guns. I know, yeah, it's shelter in place. I mean, you can't make this stuff up. So again, this is why we have to either go in a new direction because if we stay on the one we're on, it's cooked. I want to mention also about the economy, you asked me. Um, again, oh, again, it is happening. Here, look. Look at that picture in today's toilet paper record, the New York Times. We'll give folks a document cam shot of that. Right? Uh, Look at the guy. People. Oh, my gosh. Face. He's such an evil protester. Right? Look at him. And there's another one in today's... Uh, tell the listeners what's happening there. It, it just shows a protester faced off against the police before a soccer match in Brazil on Thursday. But, uh, I mean, at least the Brazilians are... Uh, they say they're sick of government corruption. They're sick of government... Here's another one. Here, look at this one. It's the same thing everywhere. Here, look at this one. In but see, we've got Wall the Street estrogen Street. in our water, so yeah, we don't. No, yeah, we don't have people to stand up here. That's in, that's in Portugal. It's going on all over the world. It's in Turkey. On, on Sunday, there's going to be a big demonstration in Egypt. And they're already warning. The, the, the Egyptian secularists, by the way are saying that the United States is behind the Islamic Brotherhood government of Morsi, and they're against the secularists. You could read that. Of in course. The anime. Yeah. They always put the radicals in. And now this is what the secularists... Anyway, so there's a big showdown coming in Egypt, and, and the military may step in again. Again, you go to you go to Portugal, you go to Brazil. Oh, oh. Because they know those radical Muslims wrecked those countries. Exactly. And then you go 35 killed already in China, in the Xinjiang province. People around the world are demonstrating against their... The greatest fear, by the way, that the Chinese government has are the people. That is their Let's explain fear. that. And why worldwide? Because we're really in a depression that you and others predicted. The media is not just telling us. In little isolated pockets, people are doing okay. But overall, by every metric, I've had countless economists on. We've been in a depression in, what, five years? Five years. Five years. We'll be back with Gerald Salente. Hi, Ted Anderson, president of Midas Resources. With over 30 years of experience in the precious metals business, I can tell you without a doubt, we are facing the most dangerous and volatile times, not just in the United States, but worldwide. Peace of mind is gold and silver. Now is the time to invest in gold. When it comes to bullion coins, our prices are competitive and the closest to melt. If it's numismatics you're looking for, we have some of the best deals out there. Visit MidasResources.com today or go to Infowars.com and click on the link to see our daily specials. Here's an example of one of our long-term specials we've been offering for more than a year. Two silver dollars from the turn of the last century, plus two powerful films, The Obama Deception and The American Dream. We also add in the book Dishonest Money, all for $72 and free shipping. The most trusted name in precious metals is Midas Resources. Call 1-800-686-2237 or go to Infowars.com. I'm Ted Anderson with Midas Resources. Sources. We are now only entering the edge of a global financial superstorm, the likes of which the planet has never seen. Here in the United States, the private Federal Reserve is giving more than $85 billion of taxpayer money a month to themselves and other offshore foreign banks. And the worst part is, we have to pay the bank's interest on the money we give them. There is now a race between the global central bank mafia cartels to see who can devalue their country's currencies the fastest. We are already seeing big increases in inflation at the grocery store and the gas line. This will eventually lead to hyperinflation. More than a dozen top globalists like George Soros have been buying record amounts of gold while at the same time bad-mouthing it to the public. Don't just listen to what they say. Watch what they do. For more than 6,000 years of recorded human history, gold has been the ultimate hedge against uncertain times and inflation. 
Before investing in metals, it is important to do your own research and find a reputable company. Midas Resources has the highest Better Business Bureau rating of an A+. Unfortunately, very few precious metal companies can boast that. Midas Resources has assembled one of the most educated, researched, and professional teams of brokers in the industry. The evidence is overwhelming. In uncertain times, gold and silver is safe harbor. Now is the time to invest in gold. Call 800-686-2237 and Midas Resources will mail you 10 reasons to own gold absolutely free. No shipping. It's absolutely free. And finally, Ted Anderson wants to challenge you to find any deal that comes close to his two silver dollars at cost with free shipping, with two free films and a book for $72. That's more than $160 value for $72 shipping included. Click the link at InfoWars.com to go to the MidasResources.com specials page. Brought to you by MidasResources.com and Ted Anderson, the trusted name in precious metals. Hey, that reminds me of Ted Nugent. We need to get Ted on. He routinely, every month or so, calls the hotline when he wants to get on. We need to just call, remind me to call Ted up after the 4th of July. I want to get Billy Corrigan back on, too. Not name-dropping here, our listeners. Great people like Ted Nugent, Billy Corrigan, very diverse. Liberty lovers. I'm just remembering all these big guests I forget to get on. Uh, boy, we're going to go into overdrive, and I promise go to uh, Gabriel and Sergeant Bill and others that have really been patient. You can ask me your question and, of course, then get Gerald Salente to chime in on it. Very honored folks have been calling into the broadcast here. Gerald uh, is going to do some taping today for the Obama deception. And if he's still got energy, he has a lot of it. Who knows, he might be on the nightly news, but it's really a treat to have him uh, here in town with us. Uh, we got a lot of big ideas cooking with Gerald as well. You may hear about in the next few months. We'll just leave it at that. Gerald, finishing up with the global depression. Five years, you agree with that analysis by all the metrics. And that's why this stuff's also happening. And you predicted, you said, when they lose everything, they lose it. Yeah, and, they, and then they take it to war. So now let's look what's going on. We saw the stock markets go through this roller coaster ride since Ben Bernanke, Osama Ben Bernanke, public enemy number one, announced that they would be tapering off on their stimulus. Gold, of course, is, is it's, it's lost so much strength since that has happened. And then we look at behind it. The markets, let me get this straight now, the markets are going down because they say there's not going to be any more stimulus. However, everyone admits that the stimulus has not stimulated the economy. The only thing it's done, it's gone to the bankers and the financial and the financial institutions for them to make money. Because as we look, since the Great Depression began, the Greatest Depression, the jobs that were lost between 2008 and 2013 are mostly middle income paying jobs. This is a fact. The jobs that have been created are mostly low-paying wage jobs that aren't enough to have to, uh, to, to maintain a standard of living, a working wage. Here are the jobs that have been created. You want a job as a bartender or a waitress? There's a job waiting for you someplace. Do you want a job in hospitality? Wonderful word for cleaning up and, 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 and making beds and hotels and that kind of thing. You can maybe find a job there. They're creating some there. Temporary workers, no benefits, no pensions, no, no nothing, nothing. And in China, they're replacing the people with robots. Where does it all end? So you look at the jobs that are being created. They're all low-paying jobs. Manufacturing jobs are being lost when you mention China. They're being lost here and over there. And, oh, that's the other part of the equation, by the way. China is also in a slowdown. They have a liquidity crisis, and they're saying we're not going to dump more dough into this to keep the Ponzi scheme going. But it's bigger than a liquidity crisis. It's a debt crisis because the banks, just like they were doing here, the hot money has been flowing into real estate. You hear about So what do you predict is going to happen? Will they keep the QE going or will they stop it? They're naked shorting to drive down gold artificially. Ron Paul says it'll go to infinity once that stops. I agree with Ron Paul. That what I, I don't know what they're going to do, but I do know this, and so does everybody else. Read the headline in today's business section of the USA Today. Mortgage rate parties over. I mentioned to you that I bought those buildings. I got a 2.875% interest rate on one of them, and that was in February. 
So that's, and, and, and oddly, I hedged my bets by doing this without having any intention of doing so. Now mortgage rates are up to four, uh, 30 years now up to 4.46%. It's a uh, 30 year fixed rate rose to 4.6%, the highest in almost two years, up from under 4% a week ago. And they've gone up some 20 and I remember you said that about a year ago. You said by the end of 2013, I think you put it in one of your publications, that they were going to end the QE. How did you know that? Because they can't keep this going on forever. Interest rates... That's what you said last year. Is yeah. that, is that quote, yeah. So where is it going to end? We're going to go into worse conditions than what we saw in 2008. Now you can watch Alex Jones live at Infowars.com forward slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. You can also browse the network, the Infowars Nightly News. And over 60 movies and documentaries all together in one place. You can watch the Alex Jones Radio Show live as it happens. So check it out, Infowars.com forward slash show.